hi welcome to a to z knowledge.com so today we are going to uh, look about super and this keyword so these two keywords are very important and frequently used in java so actually what is the use of this super and this keyword and which scenario we are going to use this and with short example we can see first we can go with the theory part so first of all super keyword is a reference variable that is used to uh, refer the immediate parent class object so i have a parent class and child class from my child class if i want to access the immediate parent objects i can in i can use this super keyword so usage of super keyword you can use this for uh, refer the immediate parent class and you can use this for invoke the constructor of the immediate parent class and even a method of the immediate per parent class so i will just give you an example you, you, you in your mind you will get a question so from child to uh, from child if i want to invoke this uh, parent class then i can go with an inheritance right means uh, through inheritance itself i can do that right why should i have to do with super see you you have a problem over there see this is the code which i created a class vehicle and i created and some property in speed of 50 and i created a child class bike 3 extends the vehicle and in speed of 100 now i am just creating a method void display inside my child class and i am just printing the speed now i creating an object for my class child class and i am invoking the display so if i run this code the output is obviously it print 100 but i need only the output of my parent i need to print 50 so for example i am just executing this code you will get it so i i have to change my class okay fine okay um i just executed the code just waiting for output okay i got 100 but I, I i i don't want this 100 but i need 50 to be get printed so that's where we are using the super okay so because it's obviously if you if you create an object for the child class then you can print only the child class uh, uh, properties now by using the same flow of the program i'm not going to change anything here but i need to get this 50 so that is possible through super so here in this display i'm just putting super dot okay so now what happened is see uh, immediately i've just given super it just blinks here not here so it blinks the speed blinks here so if i execute this code okay so you can see here i have not created any separate object for my parent i have not done anything just by using super keyword i am invoking the current class okay means uh, the parent class the immediate parent class from my child so if i execute this i'm getting 50. so this is where we use super keyword a lot and also by using super keyword you can invoke the uh, immediate parent class constructor also for example you can see in the next example okay wait a minute i'll just command this program okay the next program is used to uh, invoke the constructor okay fine so what is constructor a constructor is like a, mm, it's similar to method which doesn't have any return type and uh, we don't want to invoke this constructor while creating an object it is not required when you create an object for your class and that is enough the constructor is also will be get executed so we know all about constructor even if you want to look a video which is there in my youtube channel and site you can see what is constructor is okay come back to the part now i have created a vehicle it's a empty it's a it's a default constructor which doesn't have any argument okay and i'm printing vehicle is created and i created a child class for vehicle as bike 5 and inside this i'm using you can see i'm just using the bike 5 it's again a constructor inside a child class now you can see i'm just invoking super that's it will invoke the parent class constructor obviously right if i just put super super is where it communicate it, it it is communicate to the immediate parent class and the super is empty so here it immediately invokes the constructor of my vehicle class so i'm just executing this code oh, i'm sorry i just made mistake in the choosing the main okay go to run configuration okay my class is not bike 3 it's bike 5 okay so vehicle is created first the constructor is invoked then bike is created then the second one which i have created inside my child class so this is where we use super actually so the super is used to invoke the immediate parent class constructor or method or properties now we are coming to the next part this okay this keyword 
there can be a lot of usage of Java this keyword um, this is a reference okay it's just a space here I left a space okay this is a reference variable that refers to the current object so we are saying this is my pen this is my name and this is my job so we are denoting the current object so this keyword in Java is also used to define the current object so where we are going to use this keyword okay back to example okay you can see here this code it has it doesn't has any keyword this I have created a student class and which has a global variable and then I created a constructor and I have created a local variable and I have assigned this global variable to local and I created a method void display which will print ID and name and I created an object two times s1 and s2 and I am invoking the object of s sorry the method by using the object of s1 and the method display by using s2 this is a normal flow but when you f when you come here maybe you will be getting a confusion right by seeing this which one is a global and which one is a local even as a human we are getting a confusion so he said like uh, I uh, I'm assigning the global to local how come I can say uh, ID in left hand side is global and ID in right hand side is a uh, local how can I say it because the names are equal so as a human we are getting in confusion like that the compiler also will be get confused so if I run this code I won't get any error but you can see the output the output is wired and it's what the compiler returns because ID is an integer so it thinks it's zero and string it's a null right then it print null so it does not know which one is a global and local so it get confused and it prints the uh, uh, integers zero and string null so to make a difference between local and global variable we use this keyword so for example now I'm just using this dot and then again at uh, this dot okay now you can see automatically this name it just highlights the name of my global and if I click ID this highlights my ID in which global so this is contains the global I can say and in right hand side it's local I can say now if I run this code I get the output as triple one crayon and three two one arayan so I get the output so this is what the this keyword is used by using this this you can play with some constructors here also I used a constructor and even you can do lot many things uh, by using this this keyword so I have in my site I have given the advantages of this what uh, in which place and all we can use this so this is what the actual thing is done by this and super keyword and uh, that's that's all with the session and thanks for watching a to z knowledge.com you can find more videos in two languages English and Tamil and uh, if you like my video please subscribe my channel in YouTube like us on Facebook and share this with your friends and colleagues thanks for watching